I've seen online like a lot of uh, RX-7s just catching on fire and burning to the ground at like photo shoots and stuff like that. So as a preventative measure, the first thing I'm going to do is install a fire extinguisher in the car. Um, I already have the fire extinguisher. Currently it's just sitting on the floor. I think it's just a two and a half pound uh, ABC dry chemical fire extinguisher. Pretty standard. So right now I just have it sitting on the ground which is kind of dangerous because in a crash it could be a projectile. So the other day I ran down to Saki Bomb Garage and um, they make a bracket which I picked up um, which allows you to mount it to the seat kind of where it was inside the car but it's just a solid mount so you don't have it flying around. This is the Saki Bomb Garage fire extinguisher mount that mounts to the seat. These two holes will mount to the two bolts going to the front of the seat. Let's see if the existing holes line up. It's a little off. We'll just have to drill our own holes. To take the seat out, what you'll need is a 14 millimeter socket. I just got a really big extension so I can clear the seat and have plenty of room to swing around. So that's one of the bolts. Here's the other one. So those are the two fronts for the seat. Now we have to scoot this seat forward. This is the back bolt. Okay, that one's loose. Okay. Both of the back ones are loose. Seems fully loose. Same with this one. Okay, this one came out. Why does this one not come out? Oh, it stays in the the rail, or the, the bracket. It doesn't separate from the bracket. Should be able to break free of these front ones. Okay. Cool. So now we should be free to lift this seat out. One thing not to forget is to disconnect the seatbelt retainer. There's a little helpful arrow pointing up, so you just push up and the latch comes off. And then the seatbelt is free to come out. So the seat didn't want to come out, and this is why. I was loosening this one which I'm not sure what it goes to. We'll find out once we lift it out. But there's this is the actual seat bolt the, for the other corner. So there's five that you have to undo. Or maybe we don't have to undo this one. I don't know what this one goes to. We'll see. But let's do on this one. Let's undo this. Let's undo this one now. Okay, now this one's undone. Now we should be able to pull the seat out. Oh. 
So the extra fifth bolt just looks like a retainer that it was using to like to guide it when sliding forwards and backwards. And so it seems we just need to remove this bolt here, slip that mounting bracket in, and this one as well on the left and right side of the seat, and then put it back together. Interesting. It's like a fiberglass seat, makes it light. That's cool. So you got these two bolts out. It's a 12 millimeter. It's kind of a tight fit, so you just want to make sure you get something that can clear. And same thing to the bottom one. So it's real snug. The bolt back in on both sides. I'll bolt it up. So now that it's now that there's this extra material in here, it, it kind of there's like a gap that pushed up the seat a little bit. So Saki Bomb Garage supplied these spacers to go on the rear to fill that extra gap. I'm gonna try to run it without um, just so that the bottom of the seat will sit more like at an angle and I don't know, maybe hold the passenger in a little better. Okay, so I drilled some holes for this bracket that came with the fire extinguisher, and then just put in the uh, these little Allen bolts. And then just mounting this up. And then I can actually put another uh, clip right here on this side. So I'll have like dual latching, but for now this is way better than before just sitting on the ground. So it's pretty sturdy. I just gotta put it back in the car and see how it fits. Here it is, all installed and completed, and it looks pretty good. And if we try a test fit, this is sitting comfortably. Plenty of room. Not gonna hit anything, to move around. And just to clarify, I was not paid or sponsored to do this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.